today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install a centered zipper by hand. Here we go. More hand sewing. Hi friends, welcome back to Sew Obvious. I'm Polnar. I know what you're thinking. Polo, you can call me Polo, why would you want to sew a zipper by hand? The truth is I don't because I hate hand sewing. But it would be really stupid of me to assume that everyone who sews also has a sewing machine. It's also very stupid of me to assume that everyone who has a sewing machine bought it brand new and therefore has zipper feet. So, for those of you who may not have a sewing machine or may not have the sewing feet, but want you to learn how to do a zipper by hand just in case you ever have to do one, this video is for you. In order for us to learn how to install a zipper by hand, we're going to have to learn a new hand sewing stitch, which is called the pick or prick stitch, depending on who is telling you what it's called. I'm telling you it's called the pick stitch, so that's what I'm going to call it. The benefit of doing a hand sewn zipper is that it's virtually invisible. It doesn't require any feet and it's pretty easy to do. It might take more time than a regular zipper, but at the end of the day, no one's going to be able to tell if it was done on machine or by hand. Hand sewn zippers start very similar to regular zippers. And by that I mean is we're going to have to put in a seam in place for us to install the zipper into. So I've already marked where the zipper is going. So to do the seam, we're gonna be doing a regular seam from the notch down. From the notch up, we're going to be doing a basting stitch. You can do this either by hand or by machine. Once you have the seam sewn, you are going to press it open. Now that we have it pressed, we are going to take our zipper and we are going to put it face down, trying to make sure that we put the zipper teeth right in the middle of the seam. Once we've done that, we're going to pin it in place. Now that we got this pinned in place, we are going to take our sewing needle, we're going to thread it, and you're going to look really closely at your zipper. You can see that it has like little lines that go up and down the zipper tape. You're going to use those as a guideline because we're going to take our needle and we are going to do a basting stitch on both sides. Oh, oh. Dabbed myself, I'm bleeding. And we're going to use the basting stitch on both sides of the zipper to keep it in place when until we do the final stitch. So this doesn't have to be perfect because we're essentially just holding it in place. But the straighter you sew, the better it's going to be. We're gonna do that on both sides. Here we have the zipper fully basted. You can clearly see the stitching on both sides. That's okay, because we're actually gonna be taking them out at the end of this. And what we're going to do now is we're going to re-thread our needle. I thread it so it has two threads going through it. And this time around, we are going to do the pick stitch. For the pick stitch, we're gonna start on the wrong side of the fabric in the seam allowance going towards the zipper. We have to decide how far from the center seam we want the stitches to be. I would recommend about a quarter of an inch on each side and that should give you enough room that you're not going to go into the zipper teeth because if you get your thread in the zipper teeth or wrap around them, your zipper is not going to close which will completely undo the whole purpose of having a zipper. Once we decide how far from the center seam we are going to make the stitches, we are going to mark them. Quarter of an inch on both sides. You can't even see that. So now that we have our needle threaded, we are going to make a little tack bar on the wrong side of the fabric into the zipper 
We're gonna go around a couple times to strengthen it. And once you have it, you're gonna go back to the front of the fabric. Now this is where we are going to start our, this is where we're going to start our pick stitch. Now for the pick stitch, your needle and thread are essentially going backwards into the fabric. Kind of like some of the hem stitches that I taught you guys a few videos ago. So if you're right-handed, you're going to be starting from the left side. And if you're left-handed, you're going to be starting from the right side. Now, wherever your needle is, you are going to back, go back a couple of threads, go through to the back, and pull it through. Then you're going to move forward. Once your needle comes out on the other side, again, you are going to go back a couple of threads and go towards the back. And now we're going to go forward. So here you guys can see that I'm clearly using black thread so you can see it. But if you were to be using matching thread, these little dots here would not be visible on your fabric, which would make this seem essentially invisible. Let's do a couple more. We're gonna go forward, through, and I go back a couple threads, just enough for the sewing needle to make a strong enough stitch that it won't fall out, but it won't be noticeable. So go forward. Go back a couple threads. So from the front, this will be very similar to what you would see with a hand sewn hem where you would see little pinpoints of thread on the right side, but for the most part, it's not there. Because most of it is on the wrong side. And we're going to continue this seam all the way down once you get to the end of the seam you're going to pass it off to the wrong side of the zipper do a couple of tack stitches and then you're going to tie it off now, before we take out the basting stitches, we are going to also do a pick stitch down here on the bottom across our zipper to make sure that it stays in place. Now that we've done the pick stitch on all three sides, we are ready to take out our basting stitches. We're gonna take out the basting stitches on the side as well as the basting stitch that is holding the seam together. Very careful when pulling these out. You do not want to pull out your pick stitch. I recommend you pull them out from the front because the pick stitch should be very different from the basting stitch on the front but on the back, they're going to be very similar. So we got the basting stitch on the sides taken out. Now we're gonna take out the basting stitch running down the middle. When you get to the bottom of the zipper, be very careful not to rip through your pick stitch down here. Once you take out all the basing stitches and clean it up a little bit, get rid of all those little flyaways, 
you should be able to open up your zipper. There it is, nice and neat, nice and clean. Now you just gotta do is a little bit of pressing to get rid of all the wrinkling. And as you can see, the only things that you can see from the pick stitch is little dots here and there, which if you use a matching thread, those little dots will be basically invisible. Although sewing zippers by hands do take a lot of time, one of the best things about it is that you don't have to worry about the zipper pull getting in the way because you're not trying to sew right up on the zipper teeth like you would with a zipper foot. If you liked today's tutorial, make sure that you like, comment, share, subscribe, and ring the bell. You can also follow me on Instagram on at polylook where I post some of my upcoming projects and videos that we'll be posting on here. If you didn't like the video, then go watch something else. It's that easy. Okay, bye. <coughs> <coughs>